Hi everyone, my name is Yana. Hi, my name is Michelle. And I'm Priscilla. We are three students from Springfield International School and we're here to present our solutions to the ISCC 2020 case study. Dapur Kita is a commissionary kitchen that provides space for local and small businesses to prepare their food and beverages in which customers can choose to rent for either short or long term. Dapur Kita has faced many problems in its run, one of them being an efficient reservation system. Clients can only make reservations through phone calls, which takes up time. To solve this issue, a specialized website could be created. Through this method, clients can access information quickly, such as searching for available schedules. Dapur Kita could also take advantage of the specialized website by providing visuals of how maintenance checks are done in line with the COVID-19 prevention protocol. For example, videos of staff members cleaning appliances with gloves and face shields on can be uploaded. Visitors of this website can will then be assured that the space is hygienic and safe, and this could lead to an increase in potential bookings. Another problem stated is the fact that Dapur Kita's inventory management system is old-fashioned. They still manage their inventory in their warehouse manually, which takes up a lot of time, and also means that they cannot track missing appliances. To solve this, they can introduce a modern inventory management software such as Equip, NetSuit, or SAP SAP. These softwares will enable Dapur Kita to monitor inventory levels, generate barcodes, and track utensils in the warehouse easily, all in one application. Furthermore, Dapur Kita has long suffered from broken or missing appliances and utensils caused by irresponsible clients. Staff members are also not able to just ask for compensation from clients because they can't be sure who exactly broke or lost the utensils, and they may lack the evidence to confront the clients. To solve this, Dapur Kita has to implement stricter protocols when it comes to utensil management. There should be a set of rules that Dapur Kita implements to clients before the reservation also emphasizing that there will be consequences for breaking or losing appliances. Dapur Kita can also encourage clients to collect used appliances on the countertop right before they leave, so it's easy to see if anything is missing. Another problem is the time it takes for maintenance. It takes one whole hour to finish maintenance for appliances and utensils, which is a very long time that can be used for finishing other tasks. To solve this, Dapur Kita can try to increase staff motivation. Therefore, staff members can be more productive and work faster. Motivation can come in the form of possible promotions or increased staff engagement. Lastly, since clients are allowed to cancel their reservation anytime, this prevents Dapur Kita from replacing their cancelled reservations for other potential clients. To solve this problem, Dapur Kita can set a time limit for cancellation. And if the client still insists to cancel last minute, Dapur Kita can notify them that they will be asked to pay the remaining 80% that they are supposed to pay when they come to the kitchen. In conclusion, Dapur Kita may have to invest and go through higher costs to fix these problems with solution that we listed. However, in the long run, Dapur Kita will be able to operate more efficiently and gain more potential revenue.